Our local history project is about the victims of National Socialism. And also how um, a lot of the people back then just kind of accepted it as normal. I think mostly um, getting to know the history of our, our country. Figuring out the story of a certain uh, survivor of the Holocaust. Some victims survived, other ones are dead now, and we learn about their life. We learned a lot more about the war itself, but not about like the big leaders and so, but about the people in the war, and that's the victims in the war. Hi guys, we are from Belgium. A couple of months ago we started with this project about the victims of National Socialism. This project was very difficult to understand at first, but this is why we make this tutorial for you guys. We completed this project in the following seven steps. Step 1. Gather more information to help with your research. We started with collecting information about our topic to widen our frame of reference. We did this by attending a workshop about the 10 stages of genocide. Then we visited Caserne d'Ossin, which is a museum and research center about World War II and the Holocaust in Belgium. We were also learning about World War I and World War II at school and found more information on the internet. In Caserne d'Ossin, we met a Jewish woman and listened to her story of survival. Step 2. Whose story would you like to find out about? Every group had to choose a person. They were either a survivor, a victim, or a person who helped the victims. Step 3. Try to locate more information about your person. Now that you have identified a person, you are going to look for sources and find out everything about how they lived. Dose Barracks provided us with official documents from their archives about the victims of National Socialism, but we also used the internet. Step 4. Now, try to find a structure that works for you. Look for all the important information in the documents. Discover the life of your hero or victim and bring structure to the information. We did this by creating a timeline, map, and the family tree. Step 5. If you still need more information, try finding alternative ways of broadening your knowledge. We gathered more information on World War II by revisiting the Dossin barracks. There we took part in a guided tour of the permanent exhibition. Step 6. Now it's up to you to become an upstander. We participated in a workshop where we learned how to become a hero. You become a hero by being an upstander and helping those in need around you. An upstander is someone who speaks up when getting confronted with discrimination. A lot of the tragedies we have learned about could have been prevented if more people would have stood up against the Nazis. Step 7. Finally, you can display all of the information you've gathered until this point. We did this by creating a website. Here you can find the different people we researched and the various things we learned during the workshops. Uh, 
I really liked um, the bus rides to, for instance, a museum where we went to, especially the way home. We um, got to talk about what we learned and, and how it affected us. And to know now that um, not only Jews, but also uh, gypsies, people with a handicap, and other people got targeted by the Nazis. Uh, it was very eye-opening, I would say. The most important thing is, um, I think, to become an upstander. We learned a lot about history, and now we knew things, and we can help for the future that they won't be again. We learned a lot about how the Holocaust actually was for the survivors themselves. Because we always learned about Hitler and the Nazis, but we never saw it from a perspective of the people itself, from the Jews who were attacked, from the Jews who were punished for doing nothing wrong. We hope our recommendations will help you with your project. Good luck! Bye! Bye. Bye. <laughs>